For the past few months, we've been building this Mercedes G-Wagon Tudor convertible. We stripped it down to the bare chassis, fitted it with 4x4 square style suspension, took out the old gas engine and replaced it with a Tesla motor, making this the first EV two-door G-Wagon ever. And in the last video, we got this thing spinning on four wheels for the first time since the swap began. <laughs> Pretty insane. On this episode, we're gonna be taking it on its first drive and on a 4,000 kilometer road trip. But before we do that, some work still needs to be done to get this thing ready for the trip, like adding brakes, the rest of the body panels, and finishing up the interior. So, with that said, let's get started. So we've seen this thing spin up its wheels for the first time, but it only went forwards, so naturally we had to test to see if it went in reverse too. <laughs> Dude. That's crazy. Pretty much any <laughs> We should put that to the test when this is done on YouTube. Yeah. I, he, 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 he has a G63, right? Doesn't he? He has a G63, a 55. Oh, uh, perfect. <laughs> Back you up Nobody with the knows my sorrow. That's, that's sleep deprivation. My eyes are burning. I feel like I'm shooting fire out of them right now. I'm so tired. <laughs> this is the um, the dual heat exchanger system that is going to be used in the G Volt. Alex came up with this idea here for the. It's like a, a single plate mount for two heat exchangers. One's for the motor, for the electric motor, and one's for the for the battery pack. Um, they need to have separate cooling systems so that they uh, they stay in their sort of optimum operating range, which is you know significantly less cooling requirements compared to uh, like a combustion engine. Yeah. So. Two heat exchangers, fans, and the reservoir tanks will get mounted onto this. This goes in the standard location in behind the front grill. Making brake lines. We got go, now we need whoa. <laughs> that is a good way to put it. So I'm working on the whoa part now. Mm. Almost there. And you're not stressed at all? No, I'm stressed. Mm. I think all the problem solving is done now, it's just doing the work. Yeah. So Tim worked on making the brake lines while Alex and Rob worked on fitting the dual heat exchangers. This is uh, the trunk floor piece that covers the battery cells. Okay. Yeah. Just putting in some some diamond plate, so it looks heavy duty. Yeah. <laughs> Talking. Doing the grill lighting. So the grill uh, has LED strips in all this, and then the bar lights up. So Steve still had some more wiring to do, but once he was done, it was time for final assembly. We worked into the night trying to get all the panels back on the G-Wagon because we had to leave for our road trip the next morning. The next morning. We were finally done with the exterior, but we still had some work to do on the interior before we set off. After the steering wheel was done, we moved to piecing together the door cards that we had reupholstered.
That is the smallest iron I've ever seen. What are you ironing? Some seams on the dash where the iPad goes in just so they fit nice and tight. Nice. Once Tim was done working on the dash and getting the screens in place, we had the reupholstered CLA45 AMG seats put in with the custom seat bases we made for them. Greg also worked on steaming the seats to get all the creases out of them and have them looking perfect. Next, Tim made some adjustment to the coilovers to have them sitting perfect, and then it was finally time to test out this thing. First move. Driving this thing for the first time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> Is it on? <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> that is so crazy, man. What the heck? Wow! That is so crazy. Before we loaded the G-Wagon on the trailer, we had to ensure it fit first. We then tried to load it on the trailer, but immediately there was a problem. It's on two-wheel drive. The back wheels are not spinning. Despite how it looks, it's currently winter here in Canada and so there was ice built up on the platform so we couldn't get it up at that angle. We repositioned the trailer on a less steep angle and that seemed to do the trick. With the G-Wagon strapped down, we were ready to start our road trip to Las Vegas for SEMA. Let's go. Ready? No. <laughs> Slept in days. Out in stormy weather, I might have the blues. But nothing ever stopped me from dusting off my shoes. You might think you'll see me falling to the ground. But I threw up my umbrella when rain stops sitting down. Yeah! On a bad day, on a good day. 20 plus hours of non stop driving later. We made it. You will see me we got the G-Volt off the trailer and drove it into the Toyo Tread Pass where it would be all week while we were at SEMA. No we also did some detailing, cleaning it up and getting it ready for the show. Just need my happy face to How's it going? Finally, finally you get a shot of me to actually clean, <laughs> looking somewhat fresh, not broken down. <laughs> At an angle that doesn't make me look Ooh, like a potato. The sunset is in the background. It's airplane, like airplane, airplane literally, it's like a it perfect. Thumbnail, right? <laughs> <laughs> we walked around the show all week, saw a bunch of cool cars, which you can check out in our SEMA walk around video if you haven't. Link in the description below. We also checked out the Vegas nightlife, after which we went to the Rosa Shop party, which was a lot of fun. And with that, the show was over. Well, sort of. After the SEMA show, Toyo Tires put together a video shoot in the desert with all the cars from the Toyo Tread Pass. So we headed over to a random location in the desert to find one of the coolest locations ever. They rented out what seemed like a ghost town full of old cars, planes, abandoned houses, and memorabilia from a bygone era, which was mind-blowing to see. But even cooler than that was seeing some of the coolest cars from the SEMA show again with one of the coolest backdrops we had ever seen. There was an amazing camera car getting the rolling shots of the cars. We met some amazing people, had some lunch, and had an amazing time at this shoot, but sadly it had to come to an end, so we loaded the G-Wagon on the trailer once more to begin the journey back home to British Columbia, Canada. Yeah. Looking back, it was an amazing week spent in Vegas, from the road trip to Vegas, hanging out with like-minded car people, meeting some old friends, and making new ones too. 
So thank you to everyone that came out and said hello. We still have some more work to do with the G-Volt, but for now, that's it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.